Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at yet another embedding model from Nomic. I have been covering Nomic's embedding models a lot on the channel since their day one and their quality is always extraordinary. So I have very high hopes with this new Nomic embed code model. This new model is an advanced open source embedding model specifically trained to convert code snippets and their descriptions into numerical representations called as embeddings. This model is optimized primarily for code retrieval tasks, efficiently finding code snippets that semantically match a textual query or a given piece of code. We are going to install this model locally and I will also show you an example. So, Embedding models, they simply convert text and code into meaningful vectors in context of this nomic embed code. Another cool thing about this model is that it is multilingual. It supports Python, Java, Ruby, JavaScript, PHP, and Go. It is quite accurate as per the benchmarking information they have shared, especially on code search net. And I will also show it to you after we test it out. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. Let me also give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50%. This is my VM and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. I am starting by creating a virtual environment with Konda. So let's wait for it to get initialized. Okay, next up, let's install all the prerequisites, which include Torch and Transformers primarily. And while that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let me first grab the model and we are just going to go with this tokenizer and model. And the model is being downloaded. And one thing which is quite curious that it is quite a big model for an embedding model. And if you have been following my channel, you might have noticed that normally these embedding models are like two gig, three gig, even less, but this one is uh, this one has six shards and it is huge. It's a seven billion parameter model. Okay, so I believe it has finished already. Or I think it has errored out. Just check what the error is. I'll show you in real time. So let's scroll down. There you go. I think I would need to log into Hugging Face. I didn't log in. I forgot to do that. So let me quickly do that. And I have logged into Hugging Face by using Hugging Face CLI by using my free read token. And now it is progressing well. So while it downloads, let's talk a bit more about this model because the way they have uh, trained it, the way they have used it is quite interesting. So for instance, uh, from the perspective of retriever sort of things, so retriever models like this one, they are quite pivotal in retrieval augmented generation or RAG workflows. In RAG, system first retrieve relevant documents or code snippets from external memory databases. Then a model, which is LLM, uses a retrieved context to provide accurate, relevant, grounded and factual answers or output. And in this case, as you can see here, the embeddings it is generating are helping rapidly and accurately locating relevant code snippets and then this could be used for more accurate code completion, explanation, solution, translation or any other coding tasks. And other than that, you can see that it is using something called as uh, softmax based sampling. So what it does is it is simply a dynamic sample selection strategy. It, what it does is it picks harder negative examples progressively based on their embedding similarity scores that ensures consistent model improvement by handling challenging cases. And then we have something called as 
a curriculum based hard negative mining or learning so this gradually increases training difficulty by initially selecting simpler negative samples and then you can see another thing um, which is something called as dual consistency filtering so what this does is it's an embedding based quality assurance step that checks doc string code pairs so it only keeps pairs where a description closely matches its intended code snippet among the top result removing noisy or unrelated example and this simply improves uh, the quality of your responses okay let's go back and check what is happening okay not here but here okay so this time everything looks good now and now for inference i'm just going to use an um, sensible example not a random one so for that i'm just defining this simple function to calculate embedding which is simply a numerical representation so let me run this so this is the inference code which i'm going to use and it is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to mimic a real world scenario so for example user has typed this real world natural language query in the step one that how to connect with postgres database in python and then this is our um, code snippet from our code bases in different functionalities like we have postgres connection we have compute factorial we had something called as fetch json request now by using this nomic embed code model we will generate the embedding here as you can see and then we will use cosine similarity score to retrieve the best matching snippet and a higher similarity will indicate a match to our query and you can see that this is where our query will be so let's run this and by the way this is all running on cpu i believe so if i do this you see there is nothing on gpu and it is so quick now there you go so it has given us the result so the snippet retrieved is exactly the kind of practical example a developer would seek you see it has retrieved the correct one for postgres and this is a similarity score which is quite high and this high similarity score clearly reflects that the nomic embed code has strongly understood the intent and meaning behind our original human language prompt now if you really think about it in the large enterprises uh, in any code project scenario quickly querying your code example or solution stored across thousands of repositories this can drastically speed up software development debugging maintenance and onboarding of new developer so this retrieval which is semantic code search can really reduce a lot of manual searching calibrating effort uh, especially for your developers so and you can just change this to anything you like it's a very very simple code and the model is all running privately locally and the license is also quite permissive you can see apache 2 license so really hats off heads off to nomic for doing this that's it let me know what do you think about this if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and like the video like the channel share it among your network because that is the only marketing i do and i will be very very indebted if you help out thank you very much